Hello everyone, it's the Upform team over here and today we're going to show you guys how you can start better using your Qualtrics forms. Specifically, we're going to go into how you can start inserting graphics into individual choices that you might have on a multiple choice question, therefore giving a little bit more visual aesthetics to each question. Okay, so the process will be pretty straightforward but first things first let's just go and open one of our forms for this question we're going to open the customer feedback for cafe okay so on question number two we already have a multiple choice question up with this last option but just because i am not interested in this text entry option for this video i'm going to remove it by decreasing the number of choices therefore leaving me with three options, a bag, a coffee, a shirt, and I want to add a graphic to each individual answer. Now, first things first, if you hover your mouse over each word or individual choice, as you can see, it becomes clickable. And if you were to click it, a little arrow will appear on the right side. And if you were to click that, a drop-down menu will appear. If you were to go through the drop-down menu, you'll see a option called insert graphic. Now, this is how you can start adding your little questions into this. As you can see, you can either upload a new graphic directly from your computer or look through your library which is already connected through qualtrics so i can add this really easily so under bag it's going to be this little option and if i want to edit the graphic a bit so it's a bit farther maybe sorry let me click this edit because right now I want to move this text onto the top of the photo. So I'll just select the photo, click this drop down menu, and then I'm gonna go to text position so I can put the text on top of the photo so that it looks like this. It's a bit clearer, at least in my perspective. You can also look through the rest of the drop down menu. You can also mess around with it. You can either edit the text, you can edit the graphic itself, meaning you can change it with a different one that you might have in your library. You can also move around the text position. You can also remove the graphic. You can even make the graphic smaller. So maybe in this case, I might make it small or maybe not that small, it's a bit small. Um, let's go with medium or maybe large. Maybe large will do. Okay, large works perfectly. So that's how you add any graphics onto individual little options on your multiple choice questions. And something I just want you guys to take note of is that as long as your question has a option, you can add a graphic to it. So even here with our matrix question, if we were to add it for price, just select the option or even up here, you can select it and then a drop down menu will appear where you can then insert a graphic. Right, I don't have any other graphics, but this is just so you guys know what it looks like. I can also make it extra small to fit this little table. So I'll make it small. And as you can see, it should look like this. But since we don't really want any images here on our matrix question, we're just going to delete this using the remove graphic option. You can also do it over here for this little scale. So click the option again, hit that drop down menu, and just hit insert graphic. Choose your photo. The process still applies. In this case, you're going to want to make it smaller because the way that a scale works is that it takes up most of the page. So you might want to decrease the size onto small. It actually does work pretty well in terms of size and the rest of the visibility of all the other features of this question. You can also do it with fill in the text questions because there are options down here. Hit insert graphic again, process same, same process applies basically. Even for reordering questions, you can do it again too here. So just so you guys know what it looks like, I'm going to hit preview so you guys can see what the image would look like on a desktop so this is what it would look like on your computer on the left side and the phone on the right side and if you scroll a bit further down this is what it looks like on a rating scale question i didn't move the question from the right side of the text if you want you can put it below the text as i usually do prefer since i think it helps with visibility and that's all i really have to say about this hopefully this helps you better manage any data collection you might be doing thank you so much for watching our videos be sure to like and subscribe and if you need any more help when it comes to qualtrics be sure to check out the rest of our channel using either the link on the upper right corner of this video or any of the links below see you next time